It's Kelly and welcome back to Mama Needs a Goal. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you're new here, welcome. So today I wanted to share uh, my dinner recipe with you. Um, the other week my sister and I were chit-chatting and she was sh talking about a new recipe that she tried and how much they really enjoyed it and it's called um, bacon cheeseburger egg rolls and I was like oh that sounds really good why don't you send me the recipe. Well much to my surprise when she sent me the recipe it is almost exactly how I make my um, meatloaf. The only difference is, is you don't put an egg in there. Um, I just couldn't believe how close it was to what I do. So, and everybody in my family loves my meatloaf, so I thought, you know what, this is a great, um, something a little bit different than what we normally do. And it's funny, because I even sometimes wrap my meatloaf with um, bacon. So this is a great um, alternative to meatloaf. So tonight I am trying it for the first time. Fingers crossed that everyone loves it. Okay, so what I will be using is I have a pound of ground beef. I have some onion soup mix. I use a packet of that. I use a half a packet of that in a pound of ground beef. But I also like to have onion in mine as well. So I am going to cut up a little bit of onion um, for it as well. Some Italian breadcrumbs, pepper, and oh, hold on one sec. And I like um, seasoned salt. And the other item is Worc I had Worcestershire sauce. Is that how you say that? I don't know. I always say Worcestershire sauce. I don't know how the right way is. But anyway, this. And sometimes I will add a little bit of A1 sauce. I usually put that on the top of my meatloaf when I make it. Um, I would have liked to add just maybe a half a teaspoon in it, but I just realized I'm completely out and I don't have any. Um, but I don't always add it when I make my meatloaf, but if I had it on hand, I probably would have added a little bit of it. And then I have some bacon here, and I have some provolone cheese. And then the last thing I have are the egg roll wrappers. Um, I had a hard time finding these, uh, my sister said hers were by where like the naked drinks are, the health food drinks. Um, mine were not with those, but it was on the end cap of that aisle and it was more where all the tofu and stuff was. So that's where I found my egg roll wraps if you are looking for them. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cook about half of this bacon in the oven. That way I'm not making a huge mess on the stove top. So I'm going to cook up half a pound of bacon in the oven. And while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the um, meat. And then we're going to go ahead and cook it. So let me turn the camera around and we'll get started. I'm going to go ahead and open my bacon up. I like to cook my bacon in the oven. I usually cook it on 375. And I just keep an eye on it. It usually takes maybe 15 minutes the most. Um, but I do check it often just to make sure. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the tray here and get that in the oven. Okay, and I will put this aside and wrap that up. A little bit later so let me go ahead and put this in the oven for three one three seventy five for about I'm gonna check it in about ten minutes um, and then we'll just go from there okay my friends I'm going to get my onions started I'm gonna add some onions into this so I'm gonna go ahead and um, caramelize some onions and what I did was I chopped up a half of um, a large onion so I'm going to go ahead I have some olive oil drizzled in the pan here um, it's about two three tablespoons 
I'm going to, as soon as this heats a tiny bit, throw them in here. I'm going to add just a little bit of um, kosher salt, maybe about a teaspoon. And then I'm going to drizzle a little bit of my balsamic vinegar in there. And we're going to go ahead and caramelize these onions. And while they are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and mix up my um, ground beef for the egg rolls. Let's go ahead and get those in here. Let's get them coated really well. Okay. And I'm just going to do, I got about a quarter of a teaspoon here. Some salt. And then I'm going to stir that up. All right, our onions are looking good. They're starting to cook down a little bit. And we still have our bacon in the oven. I'm going to check on it actually in less than 10 seconds and see how we're doing. I'm going to look in there real quick now. Oh, it's coming along nicely. I'm probably going to need about another two minutes, I think. So we're going to reset that timer. So that took, that'll be about 14 minutes on 375 for the bacon. I really like the way this is turning out. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of my balsamic vinegar. Not a lot, just a few dashes. Oh, this smells so good. The smell of vision would be so awesome. <laughs> Turn that down just a little bit. All right, let this cook a little bit more and we're gonna mix up our meat. Okay, so you can see here I have my pound of ground beef. I've already opened that up. Then I'm going to take my um, onion soup mix, that up, and I put, I like to break it up a little bit and mix it up, and I put a half a packet in mine for a pound of ground beef. It's about half the bag there, so I'm going to go ahead put half the packet in there. I just add the uh, seasoned salt just a little bit. Um, I don't really measure, I just do for taste because the soup mix does have some of that salt in there. So I just add a little bit more. And again, the same deal with my pepper, it's just to taste. Just sprinkle a little bit. What is that coming out? Sprinkle a little bit in to taste. And then my breadcrumbs. I like to use Italian breadcrumbs. I'm going to do um, a tablespoon of breadcrumbs, a generous tablespoon. You see that? I probably will do about a tablespoon of, oh my goodness, the lid. <laughs> The lid thingy came out. <laughs> okay, let me put that back in. There we go. All right. I think that's, yeah, that's not, that's more than I wanted. So I'm going to do a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce and a little bit extra dashes. I love Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> All right. And friends, that is all that I add into here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this all mixed up. Just get the flavors through. And then as soon as our onions are finished, we will put them, I don't know if I wanna put the onions in with this, mix it together or put it on the side, like, I'm not sure. I might put the onions aside and then um, just add them, I think. That's, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Hey, my friends, this is looking really good. You see that? So I think that's enough for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a plate because I think I'm going to do it 
separate because um, my youngest is not a huge fan of onion so I think I'm going to add this instead of mixing it. So we're going to go ahead and just put this on the plate and then um, I'll add it as I make the egg rolls which will be fine. Okay. Now let me go ahead and get out my bacon. Oh, that looks good friends look at that got my bacon done so we're gonna put that over here I'll get that off the tray and get some of that grease off of it all right my friends so I have the bacon off of the tray and I have it on a towel just trying to get some of that excess grease off I did take a spoon and put a little bit of bacon grease in here because I thought that might actually taste good a little through the hamburger. So let's get the ground beef in here and let's get this cooked up. Okay, our meat is starting to brown nicely. All right, my friends, this is looking really good, and it smells delicious. Look at that. Just a little bit longer, and then we're going to go ahead and drain this. So, friends, while this is almost done, I have some tater crowns that I am going to throw in the oven to have with dinner tonight. Get that timer started. Okay. And we are just about done here. So we're going to remove this and just drain it a little bit. And then we're going to let it cool a tiny bit. And then we are going to get started wrapping the egg rolls. All right, my friends, so I have one um, egg roll wrap here. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of my cheese. You can use any kind of cheese that you want. I am using provolone. I'm going to put that there. Then I have my bacon, which I cut it or broke in half. So I'm going to put my bacon on there. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the onion, throw some onion on there. And then I'm going to take a scoop of my meat mixture. Just put a little bit on there like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to try. And if you see here, I have it laid out in a diamond shaped. So this is the bottom. So what I'm going to do is fold this up like this. I'm going to tuck that under a little bit. I hope you guys can see that like that. I'm going to fold this side in like that. Fold that in there like that and then bring this in like that. And then I'm going to just roll it just like that. And then I'm going to lay it on my pan here. This is um, the tray that I use in my um, air fryer. I'm going to air fry these instead of um, put it, frying them in oil. So again, my piece of provolone cheese. I'm going to put it down a little bit further. My bacon. And a little bit of the onion. And you know, this would be really good too. Um, whatever you like on your burgers. You could put pickles on here. Um, what else do you put on burgers? I usually do jalapeno pe peppers oh man that would be really good so just put that on there like that and I take the bottom fold it up just kind of tuck it in like that then tuck in that corner like that and fold it over and then I'm tucking that corner in and folding this over then I am just rolling it just like that, my friends. It is that simple. 
So I'm going to go ahead and finish rolling these, put them on my tray. I'm hoping to get maybe eight of them. And then I'm going to spray, I'm going to take my olive oil spray and spray these before I put them in the air fryer. So let me finish rolling these up real quick. my friends so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my olive oil I'm sorry for the shadows it's getting later in the day now um, and I'm gonna spray my egg rolls with the olive oil I was able to get two four six eight ten of them these two here I didn't have as much ground beef but I did have extra bacon so I went ahead and um, so I'm gonna flip them over and spray them and then turn them back over. All right, my friends, so I am using my digital Cuisinart air fryer. I am going to put it on 375, and I'm going to put it in for about six minutes, and then I'm going to go ahead and flip them around and cook them for about another six minutes. Oops, almost forgot to take that out. So let's put those egg rolls in. Let's get it started. All right, my friends, the six minutes is up. I'm gonna pull these out. Oh, they look good. Already I'm seeing. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over. These two are a little stuck together. There we go. to go ahead and put these back in about six more minutes and then I'll just keep an eye on them and if they need to go a minute or two longer we'll put them in for an extra minute or two all right my friends it looks like they may be done I just turned the little light on and oh my goodness look at that Oh, they look delicious. Look at that, my friends. Oh, let's plate these up and try them out. Oh my goodness, friends, we just finished dinner and it was so good. I loved it. Everybody in the house loved it. Everyone ate it. It was really, really good. So I highly recommend making this recipe. So anyway, um, oh, and I added um, like a little side of ketchup and a pickle. And I was thinking when I was eating it, it would taste really good with some jalapeno peppers on it. So um, whatever you normally use on cheeseburgers will work great right with this. So just a little tip. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that little bell so you'll be notified every time I have a new video coming out. And if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so until next time I'll see you then bye friends